So let's work now on problems uh, two and three. Let's do these problems in tandem. Uh, they are on page 319. So it's problems two and three. Problems number two and three. And they are on page 319 in Seagull's biochemical calculation. So the problem states that an enzyme with a Km of uh, 2.4 10 to the power of negative 4, the Km for this enzyme is 2.4, uh, was assayed with the following substrate concentration A, 2 10 to the power of negative 7 in A. and 6.3 10 to the minus 5 and so on and so forth until 0 0.05 molar. Uh, the velocity observed at 0 0.05 molar was 128 nanomoles per liter per minute. Okay, so uh, the velocity of uh, this reaction when the concentration was 0 0.05 molar, uh, it was 128 nanomole molar per minute. So what is, uh, this problem is telling us that this is the Vmax. When the concentration is very high, then the Vmax equals, in this case here, 128 nanomolar per minute. Okay, so we remember that this, uh, the reaction is like this, and we have the coordinate here. This is going to be uh, the velocity of the reaction. This is the substrate concentration, and it goes something like that. And when we are at a very high concentration of the substrate, we are reaching very close to the Vmax. So we can use this number here. That's what is giving us uh, the Vmax for this reaction. So let's solve the problem now. For the part A, so for this kind of problem, we have to use the Mikhail's Mendel equation, right? So the generic form of the Mikhail's Mendel equation is V0 equals uh, Vmax times the concentration of the substrate divided by Km plus the concentration of the substrate. This is a special problem in here because we have the concentration of the substrate that we are using. It's much smaller than the Km value. So it means that we are working this particular problem in an area here, very the beginning of the reaction uh, of, the, of the plot, where we have a first order reaction. In other words, the S is so small uh, for that level compared to Km that we can basically ignore S in the uh, denominator here. So we can rewrite this thing for this particular problem is going to be Vmax times S divided by Km. Okay, that's a first order reaction. Again, remember, we did that in the problem before. We did that if they even changed that into K, which is the ratio between Vmax and Km, right? So let's calculate now. We have if Vmax is equal 128, uh, 10 to the power of uh, negative 9, right? It's nanomolar per minute, uh, divided by the cons by Km. Uh, Km was given is 2.4, 10 to minus 4. And the concentration for this particular problem is uh, 2. 10 to the power of negative 7 molar. This was also molar. So let's plug in these numbers here in the calculator. Uh, 128. You can simplify that thing first. Uh, that would be easier thing to do. So, all right. So that's what we get then is V0 equals 1.0 1 1.07 1 times 10 to minus 10 molar per minute. You can also uh, change this thing a little bit here since it's 10 to minus 10 is very close to 10 to minus 9, so let's make it 107, 10 to minus 9, which will be micromolar, uh, not micro, nanomolar per minute. Nanomolar per minute. Okay, so that will be the solution for part A of the problem. Uh, part B uh, gives the substrate concentration is uh, 6.3 10 to minus 5 molar 6.3 10 to minus 5 molar uh, that case in here uh, the concentration is very close to the value of Km 
we cannot ignore that. Let me get more space for us to work. All right, so we are going to use the entire form of uh, the Mikhail Smith equation, V0 equals V max times S over Km plus concentration of the substrate again. All right, so let's plug in all the numbers. 128, 10 to minus 9. This time I'm going to leave the uh, units outside of the picture here. S is going to be 6.3, 10 to minus 5, divided by Km, which it was 2.4, 10 to minus 4, plus 6.3, 10 to minus 5. Right, so let me plug in these numbers directly in the calculator and make sure that the 128 10 to minus 9, 6, 3, minus 6. Let's use the parentheses in here so they don't get trapped on that uh, because there's a sum and addition. Okay, so that gives us V0 uh, equal. Approximately 27, 10 to minus 9 is molar per minute. Again, let's put this thing in, in nanomolar per minute. All right. So let's do the same thing for C now. Uh, for C, the concentration given to us is 10 to minus 4. Concentration is 10 to minus 4. Again, concentration very close. Uh, to the value of the Km, so we cannot ignore that. So let's use the entire equation for that. It's going to be 128 times 10 to minus 9 multiplied by 10 to minus 4 divided by 2.4, 10 to minus 4, uh, not, not, to, not times plus 10 to minus 4 here, right? So that's give 128, uh, 10 to minus 4, minus 9 times 10 to minus 4, divide parentheses, 2.4, 10 to minus 5, 10 to 4. Okay, so that did give us approximately 37.6, 10 to minus 9 molar per minute. Uh, he nicely put the concentration, increasing concentration. This is obviously 37.6 nanomolar per minute. So Siegel put the concentration, in increasing concentration, so that gives you an idea that we see that the concentration is going towards the maximum, right? It's increased toward that direction. D now is 2 point D, uh, 2, 10 to the power of negative 3 molar. Uh, same principle. We use the zero e equals 128, 10 to minus 9, times 2, 10 to minus 3, divided by 2.4, 10 to minus 4, plus 2, 10 to minus 3. Correct? Okay. And I have got a little bit more space in here uh, before I do this calculation. Okay, so that's going to be B0 equals... Uh, 8, 9, 9 times 2 minus 3 divide 2.4 uh, minus 4 plus 2 minus 3. Okay, so that's uh, approximately 1.14 10 to minus 9 molar per minute. Uh, 114, uh, write a better letter here, 114 nanomole per minute. Like I said, the concentration increasing and going towards the, uh, the maximum, right? We know this for this curve that concentration is increasing here and it's getting the velocity, the instantaneous velocity is getting higher and higher. All right, for the problem number three, the problem number three, uh, that's why I want to do this problem in tandem because it is related to each other. It says, if the enzyme concentration in Pratt's problem two was increased fivefold, 
or what would be the initial velocities at each of the given substrate concentration. So we know that if the concentration of the enzyme, whatever concentration was that, uh, in problem number three is going to be equals five times the concentration that was in this problem number two, this is the problem number three, in problem number three, obviously we are going to have five times faster reaction because we have five times more enzyme. So that's a very simple problem, we don't have to do everything. What we have to say is that all, uh, in that case, all reactions uh, would be five times faster because you have five times more enzyme. That's all you need to know. Uh, and there is no need for calculation, this one here. 